Bullion Plaza School, located in the copper and quartz-rich town of Miami, Arizona, houses long hallways, 20 classrooms, and an auditorium. For most of its existence, it served as a grammar school for Mexican-American and Apache children from 1923 to 1994. However, it desegregated by admitting Anglo children in the early 1950s. During its years of segregation, the school only employed Anglo teachers that enforced strict and high academic standards on their students. Those that strayed away from the English-only rule were subject to physical punishments where the principal would paddle those for speaking Spanish, among other wrongdoings that went against their teachings. The building now serves as a cultural center and museum that prides itself on exhibiting the history of the residing region and diverse ethnic heritage. It will eventually showcase Miami's rich mining history. On this rainy and windy night, we set our sights on communicating with whatever energy resides here, stopping at nothing in our attempt to communicate with its spiritual residents that purportedly dwell here as we conduct another one of our eerie explorations. And what's this room called? This is the dignitary room. Dignitary room, okay. Yeah, so these are people that, you know, state, local, and federal government. Okay. Uh, people that were involved under Secretary of Education and Secretary of Treasury. And, okay. Uh, you know, con U.S. Congressman, Governor, the state of Arizona. This is the mining hallway. Okay. And uh, there's mannequin number one. Mannequin number one. And then we've got a partial there, and then another one all the way down at the end of the hall. Okay. Um, a full size. So this room, uh, quite a bit. Okay, quite a bit in this room? Yeah, we had a Navajo in here uh, the, uh, not long ago. Okay. And uh, he was speaking in Navajo and got responses back from Navajo. This is ranch room. The some ranch room? Activity, yeah, some okay. activity in here. But more actually in the Native American room. Okay. But since they're they're conjoined by empty space, um, and I've had voices in here before. Voices in here? Okay. Yeah, I had a video for sitting here on the bench. We were talking about a project, and we had a woman back in the corner over here that said hello to us. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this room is pretty active. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. This is a military room. Wow, this is beautiful. Uh, and there's a hospital exhibit over here, and usually they sit on that floor and they get a lot of response on the kitty balls. And okay, this is the Slavic. There's a lot of mannequins in here. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, then Governor Moffert's exhibit is on this side. So, our so first Rose Moffert? Okay. Woman governor of oh. Arizona was, was Governor Moffert. Really nice lady. I met her a couple times. Nice. This is an auditorium. Oh, yeah, they spoke of an auditorium, okay. And so every so often a voice or two, uh, and I know when Amy Schrader uh, was up here, they, they had a, put out a lot of equipment and a lot of the, the folks that had you know, paid the ticket to come in mm -hmm. were sitting here and there was a lot of activity. Wow. You know, okay. different, you know, K2s going off and you know, everything else, so from here on, Okay. Uh, I don't know how sensitive you guys are, but I feel it. And, uh, this is pretty intense down here. Pretty intense? Okay, so what is the most active spot in this building? Here. I was like, don't you want to find up here? Right in there? Yeah, and there's a little girl down there from Halloween, so don't let her freak you out. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Now, when it comes to this area, where is the most active? I mean, I know you say it's probably the whole thing, but is there a particular? They, they seem to like sit along this, you know, this wall. Okay. Uh, and then down here towards the end, I guess. And I, I usually don't come down. Okay. Uh, so. You don't come down here? Yeah, it's not necessary, usually. Okay. Uh, but you, you think there might be some? Yeah, it's possible. If there's anybody in this room with us, make yourself known. Give us a sign of your presence. If you're here right now, give us a sign. Make something move. 
or tap on the wall. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to communicate with you. If there's anybody in this room with us, give us a sign of your presence. We're not here to harm you. We're just here to communicate with you, learn a little more, more about your history. All right, well, think about communicating with us and we'll be back a little later. So she was, uh, the lady that was dragged on the floor when she was sleeping there was part American. Part Native American. Part Native American. Then we had uh, uh, a lady here that's that's uh, part Native American that, that spent the night in here. She set up a cot and went to sleep on a Rita's, Rita's girls, and I guess the uh, the cot was moved with her in it. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wow. Levitated and moved. Is there anybody here with us right now? If so, give me a sign of your presence. Make something move, tap on the wall, pull Heather's hair. If you're in this room, give us a sign of your presence. Were you standing here next to me? That was weird. I thought I saw a figure when I passed by those bookshelves, turned over and it wasn't there. Huh. If you're here, please, I ask you nicely, very kindly to, to show yourself. Was that you that I just saw? That I know unfortunately did not put on, get on film? That was interesting. I wish I would have got that on camera. So, I'm gonna go back to the Mexican uh, culture exhibit because this time I'm gonna be in here alone. Because I felt, I saw something in here and I, I feel something in here, so. Gonna try to communicate with whoever's in here. So if there's anybody in here with me, please give me a sign of your presence. So I'm gonna sit here, I got on this bench right now. I'm gonna try to communicate with whomever was that that I saw when I was in here. So I just heard a footstep, is that you? If that's you, come out and show yourself. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to communicate. My camera has a little microphone on it, so feel free to talk into it. It'll, it'll be able to hear you. We mean you no harm. Like I said, we just want to communicate. I can almost hear you.
Were you here before the school was built? Like I said, don't be afraid. We're not here to harm you. We mean you no ill will. We just want to communicate. Is that you? I can understand if you're shy and you don't want to communicate. But like I said, we don't mean you any harm. We're just here to communicate with you, let you tell your story, if you have something to say. We just want to hear, we just want to hear you. If you're here, can you make a, a knocking sound? Let me know that you are here. Was that you? It's like I can almost hear you, but okay, I, I smell like flowers. Is there a woman in here? If there's a woman in here, let me know you're here. Can you knock on the walls? Any sound at all, please. Was that you? I just saw an orb. Just oh, I can feel it. Is that you? Am I speaking to the woman or am I speaking to a man? You're still a woman? Yep. It's not flowers again. I'm interested in your story. Anything that you would like to tell me, I would greatly appreciate it. Did you just touch my leg? Like I said, I mean you no harm. Can you tell me your name? Mm 
My name's Heather. What is your name? Oops. I want to thank you for talking to me and letting me stay in your space. I will return, but I want to thank you. So as I mentioned, I'm here alone. So it's less intimidating for you to try to communicate with me. So I'm asking you kindly to show yourself. Give me a sign of your presence. I'm just here, like I mentioned before, I'm not here to harm you in any way. Will you please communicate with me? Was that you that made that tapping sound behind me? So if you can show me your sign of your presence, maybe say something. I mean, preferably I like to see you. I can communicate better with you if you show me yourself. Will you be able to show yourself to me? Did you just walk on the floor? If you just walked, took a step on the floor and made that sound, do that again for me. That was me. This thing I'm holding in my hand with the two lights and the red backlight, this device is not gonna harm you at all. So while I might be pointing it in your direction, Please do not feel like you're going to be harmed in any way. I'm just, this is a way for me to communicate with you. I am one of the friendliest people you're ever going to meet. Take my word for that. Maybe if I come back later, you'll have a second thought and Give me a sign of your presence. Can we make that deal or maybe have you think about it? Is that you again? I mean, if you can build up enough energy, that would be most awesome to have you show yourself. Okay, so Heather and I, you're gonna go into the military exhibit. So, someone just stopped my camera. <laughs> someone just stopped Tether's camera. Look at that. I didn't even touch it. How's the, how's the, what's the battery level? It's full. Full battery, okay. Did you shut off my camera? Do you not want us in here? Do you not want us in here? I got a couple of footsteps in the military room. So that's why I stopped. We don't mean you any harm. We mean you no harm. We're just here to communicate. So I'm back, this time I'm with my beautiful wife. Now, if you're afraid of me, which you shouldn't be, you should, really should not be afraid of her. She's probably a little more friendlier than I am. We're just grateful for you to speak to us. Give us any signs. Like I said, we're not here to harm you or disrupt you at whatsoever. We just we just want to hear your story if you're willing to give it to us. Robert and So Robert, are you in this it's room with us? Her name is Charm. Charm, yeah, that's Charm, okay. Sean and Robert, are you in here? Like so this uh, this room back here is uh, 
They're just starting to get some, some stuff back in this, in this room. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the owners, basically, of this exhibit, Robert passed away quite a while ago. Charm just passed away recently. Okay. The last couple months. So, oh. you know, they, uh, they started to get some stuff back here. You have beautiful things that you've donated. It's just so appreciated. Like, you leave them behind all the history that you've accumulated in your lives. And to, no, to, to donate to this beautiful building, thank you for that. We come in peace. We're just here to, you know, reach out and say our thanks and hopefully, you know, get some kind of response from you. We really don't mean you any harm. We're not here to disrupt you whatsoever. We just want to communicate. It's okay to be shy. We understand. But like I said, we just we just want to know your story. We are so intrigued by the history of this place. I'm kind of jealous that you live in this building and I don't get to live in here. there's anybody in this room that would like to communicate with us, we mean you no harm. If you could make this device in my right hand go off a little bit, that would be great. We'd love to have some communication from you. We just would like to ask you a few questions. Felt a little shiver. It got a little bit cold over there. Let's see. I'll check up on stage here. Maybe whoever's in here was a performer at some point. If there's anybody in here that would like to communicate with us, We'd greatly appreciate it. We don't mean you any harm. If you could make this device go off, it's in my left hand to show us that you're here. Or if you could make any sort of noise. They got stage fright. Okay, if there's anybody in this room that we would like to communicate with you, we don't mean you any harm. We'd just like to ask you some questions. If you wouldn't mind giving us a sign that you are here, we would appreciate it. Whether it be a knock or touching that little meter that I set down over there to light it up. We'd appreciate any sort of sign that you are here with us.
Okay, if there's anybody in here that would like to communicate with us, I'd like to assure you again that we mean you no harm at all. We're just curious and would like to get some sort of response from you so we can ask you some questions and communicate a little bit. Oh, we got a firefighter on the thing right there. Right there. Look at that mustache. Oh. Okay. Hope that I got that on camera. If you could do that again and touch this in my hand again, that would be great. It's not doing it just because of the materials in here. It's not doing it right now. If there's anybody that was right here that's connected to this firefighting equipment, if you can make this device in my hand go off one more time, that would be awesome. Let's make sure it wasn't like going off by your camera or anything. Nope. Oh. Okay, we are back in the Mexican cultural cultural exhibit over here by some firefighting equipment right where our little meter went off for the first time tonight. If there's anybody in here that would like to communicate with us, we mean you no harm. If you'd like to touch that meter at any point or talk to me through this device in my hand, please feel free to. Is there anybody in here with us? If there's anybody in here with us, can you please make a noise of some sort or let us know that your presence is known? If you can give us your voice. That was so weird. What? Yeah. In my camera, there's like a big ass circle behind the meter. A circle? Yeah. It's not there anymore. Maybe it was like the reflection or something? I'm trying to figure out, but it's not there One more time, if anybody's in here, if you can speak to me through this device in my hand, this little microphone, we'd appreciate it. Okay, let's replay it. Okay. Was it you? This GoPro's hot. Well, it's been going for how long? Like an hour? Yeah. Should we give it a break? Yeah, I would. Okay. 
Let's leave the heater and let it cool off for a bit. Is it turned off? Yeah, it's off. You just saw an orb. Did in the you? Camera. Where at? And right here, going off that way. Oh, it's a bug. I just saw it fly oh. float down. Oh. Oh, it could have been something else, but. I don't know. All right. You're still recording, right? Yeah.